hey everyone welcome back again to another flutter tutorial and in this session we will discuss about how to create a simple login page with the help of flutter block in the previous video series regarding flutter block we were discussing about how to handle simple qubits and finally we just ended up with the conversion of qubits to block hope you all remember and in this video we will be migrating completely to flutter block and with the help of flutter block principle we will be developing a basic login page what you see right over here and in this page we have two text form fields as you can see we have a username and password field and a button which takes us to the next page on a successful attempt okay so let me just run that and show you let me just give any value for the username and you can just type in the password and press the login button it have a loading state followed by which we have a loader state which takes us back to the dashboard page and if you click the back button it takes us back to the login page itself okay or else if you try to click the login button without giving any values to the text form field that is if you leave the username or password field empty and try to click the login button it throws an error which is the error state in our case okay we have a simple snack bar stating as to enter the username or the password okay hope you got a better overview of what we are about to discuss in this series and with this idea let's move on to the coding part the first thing which we need to do is to add the following dependency in your pass pack which is the flutter block always check for the latest version as for the video recording date 8.0.1 is the latest version of this flutter block package and after doing that let's move on to the lib folder and inside the lib folder uh, we'll be just starting with the block itself I'll just start explaining with the block. Therefore, all the blocks for this login as well as the dashboard page is written down inside this business logic folder. If you click this, you can see that you have two folders for handling the block for the two separate pages. First is the login page, and if you want to create a block for the page, you can do that with the help of the feature which we have already discussed in the previous video. You can right click on the destination folder or the place where you want the block to be created, and you can just click this and provide the name for the blog once it is done you can see uh, three set of folders being created in the particular location one is the state one another for events another for the block itself okay for the login page we have these three files starting with the state and as usual we will be having four state one is the initial state that is the initial layout which we will be seeing as soon as the app is getting loaded for the first time and followed by the initial state, we'll be making use of a loading state as you just saw a overlay loading indicator that will be handled with this state. Followed by which we have a loaded state. And for the loaded state, we'll be creating a final variable which is the username. Since it is a final variable, we'll be creating a constructor for the same. Okay. In the loader state is where we'll be navigating from the login to the dashboard page. Okay. In that case, we'll be making use of this username. Okay. So we have created a variable for that, followed by which finally we have the error state. Just to check for the errors what we have seen already, that is the simple snack bar. Okay, these are the four states which we'll be having for the login page. Followed by the states, we'll be moving to the events. Here for this case, we'll be having only one event as you might have guessed, the login button event alone. and therefore we will be defining a single class that that will handle that event and we name that class as the login and the class will be making use of the username and password because we will be making of a simple validation right over in the block folder with the help of the username and password so we have created a separate variable for those two okay so this is all about the events what we have in the login page now let us move on to the block Once the events and states are set, uh, we will be moving to the block and inside the block we will be just um, checking for the events and based upon the events we will be mapping the corresponding states and in our case here we have only one event which is the login event itself therefore we will be checking for that if the event is login then we need to check for two conditions whether the input field or the value from the input field is empty if it is so then we'll be emitting or we'll be yielding a error state or else if the input field do contain some values then at that time we'll be entering or we'll be emitting a loading state followed by the duration of three seconds we'll be emitting the loaded state which internally will take us to the dashboard page 
well this is all about the block for the login page now let's let, now let us discuss regarding the block what we have for the dashboard page just the same kind of three files for the states events and block starting with the states here just like the same we need we'll be having an initial state that is the initial layout followed by which we have a loading state and and the state which is the dashboard nav state which is going to take us to the initial login page upon the back button press okay so these are the three states which we'll be having for the dashboard screen and let's move on to the events in the dashboard page regarding the events in the dashboard page we have only one event just like what we have in the login page which is the navigate back event okay we have a back button in the dashboard page which will be taking us back to the login page so that is the only event we have in the dashboard page moving towards the block here we will be checking for that particular event if it is a navigate back event then we will be emitting that dashboard nav state which internally will take us to the login page itself well that's all about the block what we have for the login as well as the dashboard page hope you got a clear overview of the block architecture what we will be having in this app with this idea let's move on to the screens All the UI part is written or separately inside the presentation folder and moving to the screens we have two screens just like what we have discussed the first is the login screen in the login page the UI is very basic that is you have a simple image followed by which we have a, a input text form field for getting the username and another input field for getting the password followed by which we have a login button that is what do we have over here and two buttons just uh, two containers instead okay this is all about the initial set of UIs what we'll be rendering and upon the app is loaded for the first time which is wrapped inside the build initial input function and followed by which we have a snack bar to display the error message okay so this is all about the UIs what we have for the login page now let us just map the corresponding states with the corresponding UI components Now inside the body we need to make use of the block consumer and the block consumer as you know will be taking the listeners and the builders. Inside the listeners we will be having two states that is we will be checking for two states one is the error state just like what we have discussed in the previous videos we will be rendering the snack bar or else if it is a loaded state then we need to navigate to the dashboard page and therefore those things will be wrapped inside the listeners else if it is a loading state then it will go it will go inside the builder and we will be rendering a loading widget in the else statement we will be rendering the initial input okay which is the initial layout what you see right over here okay so this is all about the rendering process in the ui component with the help of block consumer okay now now we have defined the events and states as well as mapped the corresponding events to the corresponding states inside the block and also we have done the rendering part the only thing which is left is the triggering that is we haven't triggered the corresponding event upon the login button press that is the only thing which is left over now let us move on to that we need to move on to the on press event of the button and the button is written down inside this file you see here so the on press event you need to make use of the add of method and the only method only event which is written down is the login event as you might have guessed that is the login event which holds the username and password therefore we need to make use of login event and pass in the username password which we get from the text form field that is this is how you will be triggering an event from the ui and and based upon these events the corresponding mapping will be done in the block and the corresponding states will be emitted as a response which in which is then uh, mapped with the block consumer and rendered the, with the which is mapped with the help of the block consumer and the corresponding UI components are rendered as it is okay so this is all about how you map events to state with the help of block consumer in the login page now let us move on to the dashboard page the principle is the basic one we have made use of the block consumer and inside the listeners will be checking for the dashboard nav state that is whether we need to navigate to the previous page if it is so we will be making so the pop of uh, context 
or else if it is the initial or the loading state it will be correct or we, then we will be returning the corresponding layouts initial or the loading layout based upon the state we, which we get from the block okay well that's all about how you can make use of flutter block in order to create a simple login page for your flutter apps well that's it guys hope you guys enjoy this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye